Hey guys, welcome to 5150. Today we're going to be working in the shop. And we'll be working on Project Nightmare. This is a 2005 Jeep LJ. On our last video, we did a complete teardown. We removed the uh, fenders, we removed the sliders, and the rear armor. In this video, we're going to be installing new um, body mounts. The factor body mounts are extremely thin, they get hung up on rocks, they get dented very easy. So we decided to replace them with the TNT. 3 16 extreme body mount. This here will actually raise the body mount up higher to give you a little lift. My Jeep already has a little lift on it to clear the uh, automatic and the transfer case. So this video will require some grind, uh, welding and grinding. The tools that are required, we're going to need a hacksaw. We're going to need to do some grinding. We're going to use a three quarter inch socket to remove the body, uh, body bolt. We'll also be using our Millimetric 211 welder. Obviously we'll need a grinding mask and our welding helmet. So let's go ahead and get this project started. Remove all the bolts out of the uh, three body mounts. So we're, the middle one's number uh, three, the back one's number four, and the front one's number two. So two, three, and four. So we'll go ahead and remove those with a three quarter inch socket. Just like that. And you, as you notice, this already does have a one inch body mount on it, or a one inch body lift. And Pat's just gonna go ahead and use a saw saw to cut that. All right, guys, you can see here's the stock uh, body mount. You can see how they get bent and so forth. This is just like uh, maybe a little over a 16th, eighth inch maybe of steel. So this is the TNT heavy duty. This here's the factory mount. We're gonna go ahead and start grinding uh, the access of off from the body mount.
Now we're using our air grinder with the wire wheel to remove the paint from the top of the frame rail. That's the orientation that the body mounts will go. So the first one closest, this front wheel here is number two, middle's number three, and the last one's number four. So that one's gone. Upper uh, mount. Okay. Or sleeve. Factor size bushing. Then your uh, relocation bracket. And that. Then your factory size bolt and a washer. Just go up in the frame like that. Nice and tight. Tight on the top. A little small gap. Is it? All right, let me get the welder. At least this one. We're using a digital level to make sure the mount's level of the frame. All right, so we have that in the position where it's going to mount. Again, this is the number three mount. We're starting in the middle. So TNT recommends multiple get tacks on the mounts. Now that we've got our body mount straight and level with the frame, now we're going to put a couple big tacks on it. Okay, here we go with the first welding of the frame. There's the first mount tacked in. We'll go ahead and let that cool off. We're going to go ahead and start the other two mounts, cutting those off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do mount two now. This is on the driver's side. This is the very front mount next to the tire. So we'll go ahead and uh, cut this one off, and then we'll weld it into place. Two. So that took like two minutes to cut off, two minutes and 30 seconds, something like that. Now it's time to grind.
Okay, right now we're just test fitting the mount. Whoops. Yep. Okay, so this is the number two mount we're we're doing here. So we're gonna grind up on the top of the frame. All right, there's the second uh, body mount tacked in. All right, we're gonna start mount number four. Number four is cut off. use a floor jack with a block of wood to lift the body to separate it from the frame.
like this. I'm gonna suck it all these down to the bottom out. You know what I'm saying? Now we can go level up the things. Maybe right here. I'm gonna fit in there. At least this one. It should put it's like we have close to zero. All right, guys, one of the final things we need to do is torque down the uh, body mount bolts, and these are 50 foot pounds. Again, these are 50 foot pounds. Then we do the rear uh, body to frame to 35 foot pounds. And the installation process is the same for the passenger side. There's the driver's side, completely painted, ready to go for the rock sliders. That'll be coming up in the next video. All right, guys, we want to thank TNT Customs for making some awesome product here. We really love these uh, body mounts. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.